Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak on firmware 4.3.1 for your iPad, Apple TV, iPhone, and iPod Touches. So first off, you want to type in, and this is the untethered version, so it just came out yesterday, April 3rd. And this is the official one, there's a lot of fake ones out there, so... Just want to make sure. Click on that. And jailbreak. And I prefer to use Red Snow. It's a lot easier to use, I believe, than um, the Ponage tool. So I'm going to show you how to do with Red Snow. First off, you're going to want to download. for your Mac, the program, or for Windows. And I just downloaded the Mac version right here. And there's the Red Snow. And then you want to download your firmware for your specific device. iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod 2, iPad, iPod 3G or 4G. And assuming you already have iTunes 10.2. So first off, you're going to want to open this, open Red Snow, and just a reminder, this is the untethered version, and uh, this is the version we've all been waiting for. This allows you to reboot your device without having to need your computer to connect it to. So now you want to get your firmware. My firmware is right there. This is for my iPad first generation. and just wait until it processes alright and push next okay so first off you're gonna wanna just install Cydia and since it's untethered you won't need to do this every time you reboot your device. Like in case uh, you run out of batteries or anything, you can just connect it and charge it up and not have to reboot it every time, since this is the untethered version. So for the first time, you're going to want to just install Cydia. Alright, so you want to make sure your device is off and get ready to hold the home button, which is the button on the main screen. Alright, so hold it for three seconds and get ready to hold your power button. Alright, hold your power and your home at the same time. And get ready to just release your home button. Oh snap, I meant uh, without releasing your home button. So just hold the power button. <laughs> yeah, just read the instructions. Yeah, sorry. Alright, obviously it failed because my device is not connected to the USB because I already did the jailbreak. But after that, you should all be done. You can disconnect from the USB and everything else will be done on the device. You'll see the device start jailbreaking. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions on anything, just shoot me a private message or a comment. Thank you.